Preston, what? what are you surrounded by? My own bedroom? I thought you were... I thought you were surrounded by records. That's at least what I'm I think. What now? You're, sur you're surrounded by records. Two records. And party plan. That's not a record. This is not a record. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my room, you are surrounded by records. Although you are getting FaceTime, I am actually recording. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, if you don't know Poppy Prime Preston, he, he's... <laughs> he's a... Come up with Jay. <laughs> yeah. He, he knows, well, I think he knows something about records. Do you know anything about records? Like these big brown, these big black circles of emotions? Yes, they were used for vinyls. They were used to play music before CDs came out. And before Walkmans came out. Now, what we're talking... Well, what I'm talking about today with Party Point Preston is records, cassettes, CD... Well... Records, cassettes, CDs, and iPads that we technically use today. Now, basically, records were used in the 19th century. They were really meant for, like, the way... Well... Now, basically, I want to explain to you how records work. They actually have these actual lines, these black... The black lines... Like, that's where the actual track ends. If I'm not showing you this, I'm sorry. Then I'm just trying to get it on the camera, too. So, the actual yeah. thing is, is that... There are black lines where it represents where it shows on the track. Right. Now the one thing. <sighs> now the thing was analog. There was no digital like phones, iPods, and CDs and cassettes. They really ra ran off of a single. They ran off. They. They ran off power, they did not use batteries. Here's a sample of it. I didn't even give him like 10 seconds of a sample. It's best to only like only like that amount of time for samples or whatever, just in case with copyright. But yeah. me specifically, down to it, I honestly thought that most of the time these vinyls are used for like classical music, maybe even like uh, what I just heard. Now, like well, like phones and iPads, they do break eventually. They yes the. Now, you don't, if you think that they're, like, easily break, like, they don't actually, like, break as easily, well, they actually do tend to get scratched, um, very long time. They actually, if you do tend to scratch them, you can't actually use them again. You're, and once you scratch them or break them, you can't really use them at all. Or you get slobber on them or water on them, you just can't use them at all. Which that's why I'm about to go to something called the A-Track, which was a not such a huge success. A-Tracks were a thing which you used for cars, and like they were the one thing that you could really use for cars. He probably does not know what A-Tracks are. They're kind of like cassettes, but they are but they don't really have some sort of wheels in them, and they're not really clear. The tapes got stuck at, at there over time, and they, did, they didn't really show portability on them. Now cassettes, they did show some portability, but they actually weren't really used for music until like nineteen, like the nineteen eighty, um, early nineteen eighties. 
they were really first began as used as actual storage devices, such as like having as the Commodore and the Apple II and the Atari 8 bit computers. If you want um, the channel that I discovered him, um, discovered where all the tech is at, um, it will be right here. The eight, um, um, Party Prime Preston's channel will be there shortly. There was the Walkman, there was the, like, 1979s, um, someone actually, well, 1979, someone was actually bringing their actual, like, ta task cam recorder for cassettes with them, and they went on the airplane, and they used it. So, so after he got off his trip, he decided to ask if, he, if there was some way to actually take his music on the go. They decided to take him, take, give him an actual, like, task cam recorder, a smaller task cam recorder, and then they brought the Sony Walkman out, which was a, which was a small, first ever portable music player. Nice to know that text just comes in. Now, a huge advantage over the Walkman and everything else, from everything else is that they were actually portable. And they were easy to record on. Now we're gonna go to Party Planner Pre Pre Preston's um, age of music, which is CDs. I got a whole entire line of CDs here. They're basically the same now, that's why I call them music CDs, as you can see here. CDs were originally released in 1982. They weren't, they were, they weren't terribly bad. They were actually really, they were turned, they weren't really used until like the, let's say the 1990s, the, er, the early 1990s. And I actually do have something to show for an actual sample, which I was going to review. CD players came in different various things, such as Discman's, which this is one of them. I had, although I did break it, unfortunately, here. So it's really not usable. It can't, unless if I plug it into power. With, unlike records, as they can scratch easy and they're not really usable anymore, the CDs, if you scratch them like one bit, and if you scratch them a lot, then they can still really be usable. At least what I think. I was going to give you guys a sample of a natural CD, but I don't really have a CD to give you guys a sample with. Well, I do. I do. If you go on to my whole entire, the whole entire Music Pub series down below, it will actually give you an actual Music Pub, the CD samples there. Now we're going to talk about what party playing precedents on. Where do you go? I was just packing to make sure it's still snowing outside. Yeah, it is. Newsflash, it's snowing there. Mm. Yes, it is snowing in Ohio. <laughs> snowing right there, thank God. Now, Bonnie Prime Preston, if any of you don't know, um, I'm actually using the actual device that he's actually here called an iPad, which I'm going to flip it on the back. It's one of the old ones. <laughs> which I was going to, which I was supposed to make a review a little bit back of the iPad, but unfortunately I could not get making review because I don't have anything to use it for. Now, now, Party Pen and Preston, what do you use for your music? Um, I use, I mainly use, like, modern music. Like, um, like, it really depends. Like, um, sometimes I'm more into modern music and, um, specific types of 90s music. Like, I'm into Led Zeppelin a small bit. I'm into Queen. Um, but other than that, um, the only type of genre that I don't really listen to is rap. Specifically because of, like, the bad messages that could be portrayed. 
What type of music service is this? Services? Um, on my phone, I normally use like iTunes. Um, but uh, um, other than that, though, I mainly use stuff like CDs. But I don't. But normally, I don't use the CDs. Like um, I managed to get like the Star Is Born soundtrack, which I use a lot because it's my favorite movie of all time. Can you um? Uh, I was gonna see if you can show us that. Yeah. <laughs> now, while he's actually bringing it out, we actually have some CDs right here, which are CDs were mainly we could actually still use CDs. Like there are actually some pre pre installed CDs, such as the Star is Born right here. I'm sorry if it's flipped over. Actually, I'm gonna bring them closer so you can see it properly. There you go, y'all. Now the CDs era, we actually are still living in the CDs area. Era. That's good. <laughs> yeah, what's the blue? We lived in the C. We actually have started living in the CD era since the 1990s, and we're still living in the CD era. Era. Just watch it get replaced by iPads. <laughs> Fortunately, oh, we have a special guest here. Say hi to my kitty. He just, she just wanted to come in for a minute. Who's that You can go now. Now, most of the songs that are on CD say are like the new music. There are, they're still actually selling old music on CDs, but if you do ever find, like, if you try to find vinyls, like any new vinyls such as like Lisa Cara's Know It All, it would somewhere cost about between $50 to five. well, Somewhere between ten dollars to like fifty dollars at Walmart, which is an awful lot today. But if you do attend to record on CD cassettes, you can actually you can actually get a good quality cassette out of them. Now the cassettes that I use are Type ones. He doesn't use cassettes at all because he can't really find them. Well, if he does. Yeah, they're all they're old, they're old as fuck, boy. <laughs> I got some. I got some. Um, I got a few cassettes here, which are not which are already. I got Footloose right here. To prove the actual cassette, here you go. And Purple Round, which is actually my favorite pre-owned tape. Pre-recorded tape. E. This is going to be my first over 10 mi minutes video with Fire from a person. Yeah. Now... Because you tried to review my e pops and you didn't have anything to say, you dipshit. <laughs> Yeah, and now I have something. Now, now if you do tend to find any cassettes or records, you may want to check the actual like, like music shops. And if you do tend to buy like a new record, let's say this um, Cheap Tricks one, make sure you check that if there's any scratches in them. Because if you check, because if there's any scratches in them. You won't be able to play it. Like anything nowadays, I guess. If you do find to play, if you do tend to find cassettes, all you really need to worry about is if there is um, is if the tape is actually like ruined. Which most cassettes today, which most of the cassettes that um, if you do find a cassette from like say the 1980s and it looks like it's new. Cause that's a really cheap today, awful cheap. If you do find CDs that you want, buy them. And if you do tend to use any like Spotify, Spotify, Amazon Music, and iTunes and YouTube and all that stuff, just rip it off there. 
do recommend YouTube though, but we do recommend YouTube because it's free. <laughs> yeah. And don't watch the music videos, they're awful. Yeah. Like what like what do you say is your worst music video? The worst music video that you watched? Uh, um I don't know. I don't normally watch music videos. But there are a few that aren't bad. Like um the This Is How We Roll by Florida Georgia Line. That that thing is actually pretty good. Yeah. But if you do tend to listen to a song and you just close your eyes and you imagine something different, just try to explain it out loud. <laughs> and I think that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Pirate Prime Preston. He's uh, over here somewhere. There's my channel down there. One of his videos is up here. And one of my videos down there. Bye, everyone. Awesome. Bye.